Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video, but it's completely different from any Raid video I've ever done before. In the three and a half years of being a, a YouTuber covering this game, I don't think I've ever seen an exclusive like this. It's an absolute banger. It's something we've been asking for, but we never thought was going to come. And it's totally different from anything we'd normally talk about. So Raid approached me earlier today and they said, look, are you interested in doing a bit of a, a kind of exclusive news drop of something we're doing, something we're really excited about. And I was like, yeah, tell me more. Tell me more. What's going on? And then they basically sent me all of this confidential pack. Call of the Arbiter is coming out. It's coming out soon. And no, it's not a new in-game feature. It's something completely different. So you're probably like, come on, tell us what's going on. And I will. Raid are doing an animated series. So from May 18th, they're going to be doing a weekly drop of an animated series. They're going to have 10 episodes recorded, ready to go. Basically, they're going to launch it on their own YouTube channel with the views of if someone big comes in like a Netflix and says, we want to, we want to run with this, that's where they want it to go. But obviously, we need to get some eyeballs on it. We need for people to enjoy it, hopefully. And yeah, we get to watch it first, basically. I'm going to have a teaser video for some of the clips from the animated series already coming later on. So what's really cool here is it actually takes us back before the current day in game. It takes us back through some of the lore of how we kind of got to today. It's all about Arbiter kind of like pulling together her team to, to face down enemies. And just looking through some of the info I've got here, basically we're going to be seeing some of the cool champs from game like uh, Aethel, Kale, Elhane, obviously Arbiter, Bad Elkazar, maybe the enemy in this series. I'm not sure. And again, just reading through some of the stuff here, it's actually very cool. So they're saying that the limited series of events over this kind of like 10 episode series actually are going to take place over hundreds of years. They say here, while, while they do share many characters, we may see them at different points in their lives. With shards, magical influences, and the characteristics of different species and magical races in the world of Raid, characters age at different rates. So I guess we're going to be seeing like an earlier... Uh, maybe an early Arbiter actually kind of, you know, ages through and starts to gain her powers. Or maybe we'll see some of the other characters from a, from a youthful age going right through to as we see them today. I don't know, but I am looking forward to it. I just got a bit of a, a breakdown of what's going on here in terms of who's producing it and who's involved. And it's some big names, actually. Uh, but before we get onto that, some pretty cool stats here. So this is a day where my YouTube channel hits 100 million views. Thank you to everyone who's been around and kind of supported the channel over that time. But here's some stuff about Raid. So Raid launched March 2019. Obviously, we're coming through um, the four-year four anniversary right now, uh, and it went into PC 2020. There's been 75 million downloads, on average, 1.5 million daily players, um, 7,500 influencers on YouTube. It's a crazy number. Over 230 million views. And a whole bunch of other stuff. There's actually some really cool stats in here. which, And I'm a bit of a stats guy, so I do love that sort of thing. Let me take you through some of the people that are actually involved in this project. Honestly, quite high profile names uh, as far as I can see. So Eric Rollman is going to be one of the producers here. From, 20, uh, from 2004 to 2010, Eric led Marvel into television. Responsible for all animated content. It's a pretty crazy, um, pr crazy role, honestly. Also involved in Sausage Party on Amazon. Whoa, 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 dude, 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 just take these, just breathe, dude, just breathe. You're not tweaking, you're just peeking, man. Just be with me. Be cool. This wave's gotta crash. I can't! You're all alive and looking at me with your, with your gloves and your, your, your little shoes and your arms and your legs. A Prime Pacific Rim on Netflix, Skylanders Academy, and a whole bunch more. There's a whole ton of stuff here that he's involved in. And it looks like they've teamed up with Team 2, the animation company, who again have just got like worlds of experience. You should go and check them out. Emmy nominated. Um, yeah, loads of really cool titles that they've worked with. And then you've got the showrunner, Jay Oliver, directed a dozen animated films for Marvel and DC, including The Dark Knight Returns. Um, so yeah, they've gone pretty high profile on the, on the production, which I guess they, they've got to because it's got to back up their IP, which is now becoming a really big deal. And I guess something like this, you know, if, if I look at Arcane, yeah, for Riot Games, they, they launched a, like a League of Legends Arcane piece. 
which was really cool, by the way. Do you have any idea what you've done? Actually, I do. The writing in it was really good. Yeah, and that's really what set it apart. You know, you could produce an animated series. If the writing's not good, then people won't watch it. So they've got on here Kendall Davis. Uh, you know, I personally don't know him, but started his career as a narrative designer on Halo 4. Then went on to some high rated episodes of the, the history of Telltale Games. So yeah, again, just like high, high profile people to get this off the ground. Let me just read you a little clip here. An ancient guardian, the Arbiter, must summon a band of unlikely champions to find a path back to our world. They will be challenged to lay down their grievances, join forces, and light the spark that will cast down the darkness. The Arbiter calls. Will they answer? Let's hope so! Okay, it's time to watch the teaser. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see what raid are opening up for us. Kind of starts pretty cool, right? We know the visuals are going to be good. Come on. Kale working his magic. Gaelic smashing spiders. Ooh! Elhane smashing. Who's this? Who is that? Lord Shazar, maybe? I don't know. Absolutely KO'd. We've got ourselves a royal guard in the background. Correct. All our favourites. Come on. Let's go, more to Macabre. Call of the Arbiter out May 18th. I'm properly psyched about this, guys. I don't know what you feel, feel about this. It is very different, okay? I know it's very different. It's perhaps not what you were expecting from an exclusive. Probably not what I was expecting either when I first saw the message come through. I was like... Yeah, you know, what's coming? Maybe it'd be a new dungeon or something for the game, but very cool. Absolutely cool. It's definitely a, a different angle, but a really great angle for Raid to take. It uh, just kind of like opens up their IP further, gives us something else which we can kind of cling on to, gives us a bit of story behind the characters that we use and love on a daily basis. I think it's a great move, a great move from Raid. So yeah, from May 18th, and um, yeah, let me know down below in comments. What do you think? Is this something you're looking forward to or not? You can check it out on their, their official YouTube channel. It's going to be a YouTube series. But there you go, guys. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.